This week on the video, we're gonna talk about how we take a real functional working app and we sit down with real human beings and test it to figure out what they think. We've been working on building a real application so that we could actually put this in the hands of real users. In this video, we're really gonna show you two interviews that we were able to sit down with both Dan and Brendan offsite, where we got a chance to actually talk to them about their feedback of a very simple working version of this application. Dan works with us in the office. He's one of the co-founders here, and we kind of actually joke about Dan being the, the Dan user. Yeah, he's not super technical. He's not a developer <laughs> by trade or designer by trade, but he gives right. us honest feedback about whether or not he would use it, or maybe can considerations we might not think of. It's not always bad to, um, to test with somebody who's right next to you, but we still recommend that you get out of the building. That's what we did with Brendan. When we're doing a test, I'm gonna give him, um, Dan, just some simple cues of the things that I want him to do. We're looking for a few things. First off, is the experience intuitive? Two, are there roadblocks? Are there things that he doesn't understand? Spots of confusion? And, and then three, is he suggesting feedback? Is he wanting something that maybe we're already thinking about or something we haven't thought about yet? So let's get started. Let's go ahead and add two or three people in. And what I want you to do is add a person in okay. and then something you remember about that person. So right now I've got a search bar and it says you don't have any contacts yet. Tip, click on that plus button to get started. Okay, so that's pretty easy. So I'm gonna click on the plus button. Yeah, nice, Eric Hurst. And Eric is a boss.com. And we'll just for sake of time works at Krima. And we met at Thou Mayest. There's a little note section in here. It's perfect. All right, now I'm back on the original screen. It doesn't have the content there, which I wouldn't expect because I have a contact, which is George Brooks. So I have one contact. Okay, I'm going to hit and save here. And there it is. Nice little contact right in there. It says the date that I entered the note. Uh, you can add new notes in there. It's got the contact info. Go ahead and add. We'll just quickly add in two more because we'll want to try okay. the search. And there we go. We've got a handful of contacts in there now. See it flows right. I use Apple a lot. This is an Apple phone, so it seems to flow pretty well with that. Pretty bare, there's not a lot of extra bells and whistles at this point, which a lot of times you don't really need, but uh, it performs its its uh, job well. All right, got three contacts. Now. Okay, perfect. What, um, was there anything that was confusing there as, as far as capturing the information they need to gather? I don't think so. I mean, it's the basics. Most of the time you want name and at least one point of contact. Mm -hmm. And phone and email is typically the most. Yeah, so I met Mitch, Mitch there. And I know him through Travis. I said, man, what's that guy's name? I know I met him through Travis. Travis intro introduced us. And then there it is right there. And he pulls it right back up. That's awesome. So if I went to the search bar, Okay, I'm also assuming that I'm pretty popular and I've got a ton of contacts in here and I don't want to search through all of them. Okay. Of course you are. <laughs> so we had a funny car story, so car. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so I see that what I searched for is bold, which is really nice, and I can also see the context. And if I drill into that, oh, there you go. What if I had multiple? Okay, so let's try, I think I said all these people. Oh yeah, look at there. Oh, that's nice, so. So you can't remember your wife's name or <laughs> the manager at your company's name. Yeah. Or the fact that my wife has four kids. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't remember it's that. Fine. It's fine, it's detailed. That's really, really handy. Where she came in. Okay, yeah, this is really nice. As you start looking at the experience that you kind of ran in here, mm -hmm. what are what are some other things that you would think um, would bring value to this? If there was a way that somebody could figure out how to recall chronologically the context that you put in, that would be amazing. Photos, you know, you were talking about jogging memory. Maybe you could have links to their social media page in there as well. I think that'd be good. You know, maybe LinkedIn. Get a little bit more background and their photos usually there. I would pay five or 10 bucks a month for that, for sure. 9.99 or something like that. That's something I would pay for it, for sure. Now the question is, are we ready to actually put it in the hands of a lot of people? So, in the next video, what we're gonna explore is actually getting this app branded, packaged up, and possibly put out on the App Store to start letting the world know that it exists. We'll see you guys next time. No, we won't <laughs> see you next time because I gotta ask you a few questions. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like our videos. These likes really do help us. There's a little thumbs up. And if you like us on Facebook, great. If you like us on YouTube, even better. Subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe, there's gonna be a little bell that uh, appears right next to that. Click that bell. That will actually get you notifications each time we post a new video every week. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.